Are you looking for some great resources to help you get the most from your practice time? Well, today I'd like to introduce you to a four part series of ebooks by Graham Fitch on this very topic. And I found these fantastic. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. Hi, this is Tommy with Tommy's Piano Corner. The place for returning pianists, or indeed anybody who loves the piano, to share tips and ideas about how to get the most from this great hobby. If this is your first trip here, then please do remember to subscribe. You can just hit the little icon in the corner of the screen and you'll be notified of regular weekly piano related videos. As I've said before, one of the things that occurred to me when I started to relearn piano, hopefully the benefit of being a little older and wiser, was that I needed to be able to practice properly. And by that I don't mean the fact of doing an hour's practice a day. I mean the fact that whilst I'm spending that hour, that what I'm doing is actually effective and is getting me somewhere. I guess like many other serious hobbyists, when I'm not playing the piano, then I like to also do piano related things. These might be reading magazines, watching YouTube videos, watching YouTube lessons, all of these kind of things. One of the things that I've taken great pleasure doing was of course subscribing to Pianist magazine. This is a magazine released every couple of months and there's a gentleman in there who does absolutely excellent piano tutorials and articles in each edition and this guy is called Graham Fitch. Graham is very clearly an accomplished pianist and an excellent teacher with a good international reputation. One day, I don't exactly remember how, but I came across a set of books by Graham on the internet somewhere all about piano practice. And just based on the fact that I recognized his name and that I'd enjoyed his articles in Pianist magazine, I went ahead there and then and bought all of them. I have to say that as I started reading through these books, it was a purchase decision I was extremely happy about. It's actually a four part set of books. The first part talks about basically the practice tools that you can use. The second part talks about different practice techniques. The third part talks about practicing for scales and arpeggios that of course are vital if you're doing exams. And then finally it talks about practicing for performance which is slightly different of course than practicing for learning how to play something. There are a few great things to mention straight away and I think the first of these is that these are actually ebooks. Now I know many people like to have a real paper book that they can carry around with them, but for something like this, which is trying to teach you skills, techniques, the ebook format is fantastic because of course you've got direct links to audio files and to video files that you can watch to help reinforce what's in the written word. Even in just part one, there are over 30 different audio and video files for you to watch. Added to this, there are links to all sorts of other downloads and resources that you can follow to help back up what's being said without needing to leave the comfort of your iPad or your Kindle device, whatever you're using to watch it. I've said before that I think an iPad is a fantastic thing for any pianist to own. And when you're using this kind of ebook format, you'll find that it's really, really good because you don't need to go off putting a CD in the CD player or getting your laptop to go and Google something. Everything is just there for you straight away. I've put a link to a couple of videos here for you that talk about the things you can do as a pianist with an iPad. Secondly, the books cover the four basic pillars of learning piano. But here, not from the perspective of how to play, but from the perspective of how to practice. I've become increasingly convinced that one of the main reasons that I stopped playing piano all of those years ago is that I simply didn't know how to practice. 
For a long time, I would basically just keep playing through things until eventually they stuck. And up to a certain point, that always worked. But by the time I got, I would guess, to sort of around grade eight level, this was a technique that really didn't work and I just couldn't improve at all. I think this is a point at which you need to learn how to problem solve at the piano, which is a very different skill from learning how to just play the piano. And this is indeed where Graham's ebooks come to the rescue. Of course, if you search on YouTube for long enough, all of the basic advice is there. But the difference is that Graham here takes it to a whole new level of depth. He sort of deconstructs all of these things and helps you to understand them better, including putting real life examples of how to apply this to different pieces in the normal piano repertoire that we all try to learn. The attention to detail is clearly evident and there's a lot of time and effort that's gone into the production of these books. Thirdly, what I really like about Graham's approach is that he doesn't evangelize any one particular school of thought. And I use the word evangelize on purpose. YouTube, as we all know, is an absolutely fantastic resource. You can find advice on any topic you like and advice on playing piano or piano technique is no different. There's lots and lots there, but unfortunately it's quite often contradictory and it can be really hard to work out who's actually right and who's wrong. Graham, on the other hand, takes the time to explain the different schools of thought, to point out the differences between them, to also point out the possible advantages and disadvantages of each, thereby giving you a very balanced view. For example, if you're like me and you've spent a lot of time researching piano technique on YouTube, looking for some silver bullet that might suddenly make you a much better pianist, I'm sure you'll have come over this debate on thumb over or thumb under, You'll find many examples of people who evangelically, there's that word again, start talking about the fact that either one or the other is the only real way to play the piano and unless you do it that way, you'll probably fail miserably. However, Graham, when he did a discussion on this particular topic, pretty much said that the advantages of one over the other are probably marginal at best, so you can do either, whichever is the most comfortable for you when you play. You'll find another example, of course, is the famous flat finger debate. There are many teachers that will tell you, oh no, your hands must be in this curved, relaxed position, it's not possible to play with flat fingers. Yeah, anybody who's watched Vladimir Horovitz play can see that he frequently plays with very flat fingers and it never bothered him. So to have somebody tell you that it's impossible to play in that way can't be 100% correct. Finally, Graham cites lots and lots of other very useful piano resources, a few of which I've gone on to buy for myself. I think this clearly demonstrates his depth of knowledge on the topic and shows you just how well researched this series of ebooks actually are. I really wish that I'd discovered them in my 20s, when of course they weren't actually written because that's 30 years ago, but they provide an encyclopedic wealth of information which is absolutely fantastic to work through. I read through all of them when I was on holiday away from the piano. And that means that when I start to learn a new piece, I can sort of remember where there was advice given on some of the technical problems that I find with it. And then just simply by searching through his books, I'm able to find the relevant chapters and go through them again. You can pick up these books from either Graham's website or of course on Amazon. They do Kindle editions of them, which are great to download onto your tablet. I've put a link in the description below for you. So if you're not already, then please do remember to subscribe to Tommy's Piano Corner. Click that little bell icon so that you're notified of my weekly videos as they're released. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week.